Last year, for the Independent Study and Mentorship Program's final project, Senior Hermina Navarro decided to spread awareness about childhood cancer. Childhood cancer is like what affects us, like our age group. Yet, do you know when like Childhood Cancer Awareness Month is? No, I do not. It's during September, like no one really knows that. She has uh, chosen to this field because of um, some experiences she had firsthand and how that really shaped her um, outlook on the medical field. And I guess she just wants to go back and um, reach out to other kids in the hospital. So when I was younger, I was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis type 1. And it's a genetic disorder, which affects pretty much like all your body, really. It affects people differently. But one of the main symptoms is like the developing of benign tumors or neurofibromas along your like nerves. So because of that, I do have to go to an oncologist who specializes in neurofibromatosis. And through that experience, I've just been able to see, not really experience what it's like, but I've been able to see like some of the kids. And that just kind of really inspired me to one day be like the oncologist who like has treated me. Now a senior, Hermina is expanding her research. So like at first I was just like focusing on pediatric oncology, like super broad, but now it's really narrow and I'm like specializing or like talk, like learning more about bone marrow transplants, which is like a soft topic for pediatric oncology because it's used, it's not only used for cancer, like it can be used for like rare genetic disorders. In order to conduct her research, Hermina has been visiting Children's Medical Center in Dallas. Through her visits, she saw another issue she wanted to add to her project. She's noticed that there's actually a language barrier put into place for uh, minorities in the hospital. And she's actually um, already started creating this survey that actually asks um, minorities and like Hispanic patients uh, specific questions on how the language barrier is affecting their patient care and like quality um, stay in the hospital. I want to get published over the research I'm doing with the language barrier. She's worked hard to spread awareness for childhood cancer, but now her dedication is helping her go into a more specialized topic. She has tremendous motivation and like whatever she puts her mind to, she always accomplishes. So I believe that is also one of the key factors that is really pushing her forward. I'm Brianna Flores from Coyote Nation TV.